What's up, man? This is a 10 minute video. I know you guys have been asking. All I've really been uploading is the CFM games. Those are full games. Been uploading the podcast too, man. So if you guys haven't checked out those, make sure you do. But this is a 10 minute gameplay. And it's of a game mode that maybe you guys don't play, maybe you guys don't pay attention to, and that is Mutt Draft. What Mutt Draft is, is that you pretty much, you get a base team of goals, then you get 20 rounds where you get to pick from three different player, three different players. So if there's three wide receivers, you get to pick which one you want. Now these are normally just elite cards, maybe some team of the week cards, nothing really crazy, no super cards. Uh, you're not going to get the Randy Moss, you're not going to get... Um, who are not going to get? Deion Sanders. You're not going to get Lawrence Taylor. At the end of the draft, there is a legend round where you get three legends to choose from. I believe on this team, my legend is Ken Houston. So you're not getting those super geeked up you know, NFL Madden or, or NFL 100 cards or all the new cards in the game. It's pretty balanced. There are no abilities. So all of you guys that say, you know, abilities ruin Madden, this, that, and the third. There are no abilities in draft champions. It is simple. Go out there and play Madden. You're not getting jukebox, not getting arm barred. There is no, you know, edge threat, no escape artists, nothing like that. You know, it's pretty much just butt naked players out there. And, and, you know, and you also have to choose your playbook. You know, you get three options for playbooks, random. But then at the end of the draft this year, they put in three more options. So you essentially get six options of the 32 team playbooks. In this game, I have the Baltimore Ravens playbook. Uh, and I'm running Bunch. It is probably the best Bunch playbook um, in Draft Champions. You know, I think it's kind of tough to pass in Draft Champions without the Escape Artist, without the, the Hot Route Master, Route Specialist, or anything like that. You know, but it's a lot of fun. And this was a great game against another top 100 opponent. Now, also, before I start this, this is how you qualify for the Madden Challenge. So if you guys don't know, tons of you guys ask me, how do I play in these tournaments? This is how you do it. The Mutt Draft leaderboard right now until probably you have another month to play the Mutt Draft leaderboard. I'm not sure on my dates, but if you want to play for all this money at the MCS events and everything, Mutt Draft is the way to play it now. That is the reason I'm playing it. That is the reason you see a lot of top Madden players playing it now. So without further ado, let's get into this gameplay. I got a good one for you guys. The weakness of this team that I had, as you see him with Gail Sayers, the running back, we're going to have to go ahead and tackle him. We got our, our strength is Ken Houston and Earl Thomas. Weakness are my corners. As you see, Tlaib, a solid player, good height, but real slow. And my other corner is Buster Screen. But like anybody with the name Buster, just got to play like a Buster. And that's Buster Screen. He is going to be the focal point of my defense this game. We'll see how it works out. Uh, got to hide your weaknesses if you have them in D.C., uh, one of my strengths, Mr. Meek Cole Hardman, the best wide receiver in this game because he has 94 speed. Just in this mode, the fastest player in this mode, and you got to be able to use him as I use Latavius Murray, throw the ball underneath. He's my running back. Kyler Murray is my quarterback, another great player uh, that I use as I laser over here to Jimmy Graham. Uh, Kyler Murray is, I, I want to say, the best quarterback in this mode as the ball gets swatted at the line. Although he's not, you can't really use that speed unless you hit that left trigger, get out. Pick the ball back up and laser down the field to Miko Harmon. I just talked about 94 speed. Literally made his DBs look terrible right there. 7 0. That's the way to start a game, man. Miko Harmon, Kyler Murray. That's going to be the theme of the game. Uh, this guy wants to establish Gale Sayers. Now, I don't have any secure tacklers, I don't have any enforcers, I don't have any shedders. These are butt naked players. No abilities. Uh, and this is just stock legend Gale Sayers. Throws this corner out over here on Tlaib. A little bit slow. Uh, didn't That was cover four over there. And as you see, Gale Sayers bouncing off Ken Houston. Ken Houston has a big game for me here, just being able to tackle. I got caught on a fat guy. Could not run with Miko Hardman. Uh, Miko Hardman, Tyler Lockett as, as Josh Allen. That's his name, I think. Josh Allen from the Redskins. Uh, Alabama product, I believe. And fourth down, Quan is a little bit too slow to catch that guy, Tyler Lockett, as he makes a nice spin move. There's that boy, Kenny Houston. Bang! Who was probably the best safety the first week Mutt came out. Now he's not on anybody's team, but he's one of the best safeties you can get in draft champions. So if you guys, if your teams aren't that good at Mutt, man, look into draft champions. It costs coins to play, but the rewards are really good. And you don't need a super team to play. And like I said, if you want to play for these big money tournaments 
as we get to a fourth down here. And what I decided to do is try to sneak in a little palms here, sneak in a little match coverage, uh, just try to confuse them, throw them off, fourth and four, try to get a sneaky stop. But I will tell you, every time I run palms, I give up a touchdown. And that's what happens here on the wheel route. Touchdown dives into the end zone. And I will tell you, if you guys watch these games live at twitch.tv slash dub dot, or you're just on the YouTube watching games, I will never run match again. Every time I run it, just give up yards. Just give up yards, give up touchdowns. Throw a little yard underneath there to, uh, who's my other receiver? As I hit Hardman. But I have Hardman, Shark, and I have Antoine Randall L. Uh, Antoine Randall L, 86 speed, not that fast, but he has great juking, and he has great spin. He meets the spin threshold, and that's awesome. You see me run back here, and why do I run back this far? Because if I would have threw the ball away in the pocket, it would have been intentional grounding. Hit the wheel route here to Latavius Murray. Dot down to the 21-yard line. I want this to be the last drive of the quarter. Uh, I want to make sure he doesn't get the ball back. Uh, and I have the lead going to halftime. That's the whole goal right here. Hit it underneath to Jimmy Graham. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock running. Now I guarantee that he will not get the ball back. Latavius Murray inside the 10. Now I'm going to use a timeout. It's 28 seconds left. Uh, I'm going to hit, try to sneak a couple dots in here. Throw the out route over here to Randall L. Don't get any yards on that. Timeout, though. Third down. I'm going to hit this little curl for a touchdown. Nope. I'm going to hit it for a fumble. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And he's going to get tackled, luckily, right there. Huge fumble. Huge momentum shift. I was able to at least get three points and be 10-7 me. Uh, but I fumble right there. Next play after that run, he's going to have all day in the pocket. Throw it up top. And what did I talk about? That buster screen. My buster gives up a post with half a second left on the clock. Bang, he kicks the field goal. Great play. Just had all day to throw that. Nobody fought. Buster screen is just too slow. But it's who I got, so I got to put him out there. I got to make him do what he do what he does. And I tell you, he's a veteran card. Now, I know you guys know all the veteran cards suck. Uh, Buster Screen is no exception, but he is my outside corner of this game. And you got to instill confidence in him, and you got to just talk to your players. Let me know, YouTube, if you guys talk to your players, because I'll talk to them. If they're not playing good, like right here, Quan, you're a little slow. Kenny, good play, Kenny. Good play. That's how you wrap up Gale Sayers. That's how you make a play. Six carries for seven yards. I'm loving it. Buster Screen, help me out. Don't get burnt by Tyler Lockett. Buster Screen. Second big play he's given up. He's responsible for 10 points on my field. And we get an in route batted down by a pass rusher. That's brutal. Underneath over here to Hardman. Catch a little drag on the all-out blitz. This guy was either all-out blitz or cover three. Sacks me right there by Christian Kirksey. Second and 19. Hit the wheel route right here to go ahead and pick up a cool, what, 11 yards. Make this third down manageable. I'm able to hit the flat route over here to... to DJ Shark Week, if you guys watch the CFM, you guys know he's a boss. Picks up that first down. Next play, I'm just going to take off with Kyler, get some yards. Like I said, he's slow behind the line, but once he crosses that line of scrimmage, boom, it's like he shot out of a cannon. Uh, Will route over there to, Ky to uh, Latavius Murray. I got Kyler Murray, Latavius Murray, the Murray to Murray backfield. We're going to get out here. Bang, another scramble with Kyler Murray. Get me inside the 20-yard line. And if, it, if it worked that time, let it work again. This time, we're going to take it to the Baja. Touchdown. Get within three points right here with the extra points. So all we need is one stop. It is a 40-second play clock. He's been running the ball. This is going to be tough to get off the field. This is his best run of the day. Come on, Quan. You got to get over there. A little bit slow. Talk to your players, man. Still confidence. Boom. Ken Houston, man. Let's go, Kenny. That's what you got to do. I'm telling you guys, talk to them. They hear you. Marcus Davenport with the stuff. There on second down, third and long. We're going to try to get him off the field. We go with a cover three, cloud rush three. He has all day, gets outside the pocket, looking for someone to throw to back across his body, right to Earl Thomas. Picked off, and what can we do? We get tackled. So it's pretty much a long punt, but I'm down by three. Got to make a play. Ooh, that little, uh, that curl in middle field. Turned around a little late, but we're able to go ahead and, and, and get that incompletion. Next play, we get sacked. Tough getting sacked right there. Third and 17. Throw this whip route. Get half the yards back. We're getting the fourth down. Now, this is my thought process in this. You got to go for this. Uh, if it was fourth and 20, maybe I might punt. But uh, right here, fourth and 10. Got to go for it. I'm thinking he's going to blitz. He's giving me the blitz. Look, everybody in the box. 
I see we got that one-on-one -on, -one on the right. I'm going to put Miko Harmon on an out route. Now, if he's manned up and boxed, I need something else to throw. So I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to put Shark on a streak to throw it to the inside pass lead. Motion out slant. I see I have that one-on-one. -on -one. Take Hardman instantly. Bang. First down. Miko Hardman holds on. Two-minute warning. Next play, we hit the flat route. DJ Shark right around Denzel Ward. And where are we going to take this one? We're going to take this one to the Baja. Touchdown. Now we're up four. Now I'll tell you, I am, a, I am a believer in playing like a pussy in these situations because of the runoff. Keep him in bounds. That's the goal. Like you said, 10-second runoff. We're already under a minute and 30. Just give him what he wants underneath. Even though he has timeouts, just you know, make him work down the field. He hits his wheel route. I think they're going to click me on the safety. They click me on the corner. Allows him to do that. He uses a timeout. So that's, that's one of them. Next play, he throws a little four yard or six yard pass. Bang, he catches it. That's one of them. Next play, he goes for it all with the wheel route. Earl Thomas is over there, knocks it away, and guess who's there? Buster Scream. The Buster. You talk to him, you just instill confidence in your five foot six corner with the blonde dreads. Tell him that you believe in him. He's going to make a play when you need it. And he ends the game on a tip pick from Earl Thomas getting over there. Now, the Will Ryan Bunch is good, man. But I told you the strength of my team was Earl Thomas and Ken Houston. We saw Earl be able to get over there, make a play on that. And that ends the game, man. Because all I got to do is take a knee. He only had one timeout left. That's part of the reason why I do like, dude, when people get the ball back and need a touchdown, I really I am a component of just playing safe, safe, safe. If they're going to dot you all the way down the field, five or six passes, then God bless them. But, you know, people get impatient, go up top, and I was able to capitalize with Earl Thomas making that play. But I am top 100 in leaderboards. That guy was top 100 in leaderboards. And if you want to qualify to play in the MCS tournaments, Mutt Draft, you too can get top 100 in the leaderboards. Man, like I said, watch these games live, twitch.tv slash dub dot. If you want to play, grind those mutt draft leaderboards, man. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, get it done.